Hey guys! Hey guys! It's been a really long time since I've been able to say this, but we're back with a Game of Thrones review! In this video, we're reviewing the Season 6 premiere of Game of Thrones, titled The Red Woman. If you haven't seen it yet, and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later, because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, the season 6 premiere of Game of Thrones did everything that it needed to do. It was a really good episode. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, we didn't learn hardly anything. <laughs> which is but, fine. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. But it touched on every single one of the cliffhangers that it left us with on the season finale. So yeah. it's kind of bringing us back into the story. And I really like that they did that. Yeah. I do hope that going forward, it goes back to the normal where you only have a couple of the main stories and, um, you know, and they just kind of alternate on like who's every the focal week. Yeah. character each week. Yeah, that way it, it was cause they're, because they touched on all the stories, which we needed, we didn't learn anything about any of the stories. Yeah. They didn't have enough time. But, oh, for a premiere, fantastic episode. The one story that we got actually a lot of, um, not really resolution, but a lot of progress on is actually Sansa. Because she's still running with Theon, and they, they get uh, to a resting point, and Theon's trying to, to lead uh, Bolton's people away, and they get caught anyway, and who saves the day? Brienne! Oh my god! And the, yes. the best scene of the episode, in my opinion. Yes, it was, was like pretty good. fist pump. Yeah. And, yeah, that that story there, like, um, we don't have any resolution of any of the cliffhangers except for that one. Sansa's now with Brienne, so we know that she yeah. is safe for the time being. And Brienne's been looking for her forever. Yes. And even, like, last last season when Brienne was lighting the candle in the tower and we were like, come on, Sansa, just just light the candle back and show her that, you, that you're on board with this whole plan. Yeah. And it never happened. And finally, Brienne has found Sansa. Yes. So that has come now to a completion. Sansa and Brienne are together, yeah. and I'm so excited to see where it goes from here. Oh, me too. Because Sansa is going to be a very key character going forward. Up to now, she's been kind of a side character. She is going to be super important from here forward. Yeah, I think so too. She's been a pawn till now. She's going to rank up. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on to Daenerys. Daenerys was the other one that we were really curious about where they were going to go because where the season five left off, she was surrounded by a Dothraki horde. And we pick up and they're dragging her along and they're speaking Dothraki. And it reminded me of a, from a few seasons ago where the guy was speaking High Valerian and he was insulting her and she understood everything he said. Yeah, it reminded right me there. of that scene. And because it reminded me of that, I'm, I was waiting for Drogo to show up and just you know, be like, hey, you know, this lady rides dragons, you ride horses, don't screw around. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Drogo never actually showed up. No, not yet. I still think that Drogo is going to show up. Um, yeah. Before she gets to Vast Dothrak, I think, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, she did save herself, though, by claiming to be the widow of a call. Now, none of them can rape her because it's, you know, it's, I guess... It's taboo. Taboo, basically. yeah, and they seem pretty serious about their um, customs, so I don't think anybody's going to be breaking that. So she's relatively safe. Maybe um, too safe though, because they want her to basically go live in a convent, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and they're trying to take her there, which of course is not going to happen. She's yeah. not going to let that happen. I think Drogo probably shows up while they're on the way to Vast Dothrak. I yeah. think that's probably when he shows up, and they're like, oh. Yeah. This lady is not all that she seems to be. <laughs> she actually is Mother of Dragons. Yeah, Man, she... I can't believe I called her a liar. <laughs> and, you know, j just, you know, to, to, to me, like, a horse lord would defer to a dragon lord. Yeah. I, I think once they see that, they're going to fall in line, and Daenerys is going to have one serious army that is not to be messed with. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of her army, though, they burned her ships in Marine. Yeah. Well, her so entire fleet. Back. Yeah, there is, she, she's not going to be going to the Seven Kingdoms anytime soon. Uh, I would really like her to actually get there, but I know that's probably near the very end, so we yeah. probably have a while. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think she's still, to me, it seems like she's the main character, at least in the books. I think she is probably destined to win the Game of Thrones. Of course, we could be biased because she is our favorite character. Yeah, so. that's possible. <laughs> May, maybe even likely that, that, that that's yeah, it's that, very it's probable. wishful thinking. Yeah. 
Moving on to Circe. Circe's oh, character, um, she seems to be in a little bit of a personal crisis or something right now because she's kind of submitting to fate. Like, you know, this was prophesized and I didn't listen. This is the way, this is what fate is. And Jamie is kind of like, no, you know, people have wronged us and we are going to right those wrongs. Yeah. And so it's like where Circe seems very cowed by everything that's going on, Jamie is very motivated. Yeah. And I don't know if Cersei is going to come back from this. Um, it's like everything in the prophecy is coming true. Uh, I mean, she still has her youngest alive. Um, so, you know, it, not everything's come true. But so far it has. So I don't know if she's just going to bow out and allow it to happen. Or if she will, if she does regain some stamina and gets back into the game... I am very worried about Marjorie because all of her kids have died except for her son and Marjorie's connected to her son and she doesn't trust her. I could see her having Marjorie killed. Yeah. In this scene where Ari is begging and the girl shows up and beats her ass with a <laughs> staff, it looks like Arya, but maybe that's like supposed to be like a kind of training, like teach her to fight blind because she says, see you tomorrow. Yeah, you know, this seems be, like it's going to be a continuous thing It's going to be a regular day. thing. So maybe this is actually part of Arya's training. She also, when she came up before they started fighting, she mentioned, are you hearing what they're saying or have you overheard anything? Mm -hmm. And so I think this blindness is to kind of um, make her rely on her other senses more mm -hmm. instead of on her sight. Yeah. So I, I think that was a cue that, you know, you got to listen mm -hmm. And then the training with the staff to hear the staff move through the air, kind of like Daredevil. Arya is going to be the Daredevil of Game of Thrones. And she's going to nail it. She is totally going to nail it. Maisie Williams is amazing. Maisie's yes. amazing. She's mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Jon Snow. He was murdered at the end of last season, and as of now, he's still dead. Yes. And I am really, really happy they, that they didn't um, have him miraculously survive from yeah. all those stab wounds. I was slightly worried they were going to do that because it's kind of been no secret that he's in this season, so yeah. something has to happen. Yeah. Uh, we just don't know what. And I'm really glad it wasn't some miraculous recovery. They got to him just in time and were able to save him. Yeah. Thank goodness they didn't do that. <laughs> I think probably the Red Woman will have something to do with him coming back. And speaking, the, the episode title is the red woman yeah. and the, the last scene and that, it's our biggest reveal yeah the last scene she takes off that necklace and she's an old woman so i is that her true form is there some kind of magic in this necklace that keeps her young does she put the necklace on Jon snow and it makes him recuperate yeah something like that i mean i'm wondering if that's a cue to what's going to happen with john i definitely think the red woman has something to do with john coming back um so one of our theories is that um, he is going to become Lord Stoneheart, which if you're, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, which if you're familiar with the books is, uh, there was Lady Stoneheart. Don't want to delve into that because you haven't read the books. I don't want to give you any spoilers. But just in case yeah, they bring her in case, into it. Yeah, just in case, yeah. But that's, that's one of the theories. Talked about Another so theory times. is that when he's burnt, it somehow like brings him back to life. Because he, I, I still full believe he is a Targaryen. Uh, right, so maybe yep. the fire rejuvenates him. Yes. Maybe there's some kind of Targaryen thing where fire actually heals rather than burns. Yeah. And then the third one, which really goes along with the story of her being an old lady, she seems to be almost giving up on the uh, magic and the Lord of Fire, um, is that they once they get everything settled at the wall and they're finally able to burn him, he doesn't burn burn and it brings her faith back and she rejuvenates him in some way like she does some sort of spell and brings him back to life because he's the king that she's been looking for the that you know that the lord of light has been guiding her to who she thought stannis was yes yes I loved this episode. We were really hard on season five at times, maybe unjustifiably <laughs> so, but so far, love yes. this premiere of season love the six. Premiere. It was amazing. Yes, and I'm hoping that it just continues to be amazing all the way through. Yeah. We're really excited for next week. We would love to know your thoughts on the season six premiere of Game of Thrones. If you caught something in the episode that we missed, if you, if you caught a clue or something, let us know down in the comments. We'd love to hear it. 
Also, if you enjoyed this review, and we really hope you did, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, the six, the six, the six in season. <laughs>